followers how's going this is Kessen. Handling a game such as Dynasty Wars has always been the best experience while being on a portable console. Why? Very simple. You play it anywhere, anytime you're free, outside, and relax, act and slashing people around. Warriors games are supposed to be stress relief and fun, that is why none of them is based on Dynasty Wars 3. Or maybe not. Well, mind you, in this video I'm not focusing on any mobile title, but rather the PSP games, so get a duster and start cleaning your PSP cause you might want to grab it for your Christmas holiday and enjoy some good old war styles on it. Let's begin. Well yes, as 5th place, none other than Dynasty Warriors, and literally I mean it, Dynasty Warriors. Yes, cause that's how the game is called. It was the very first PSP Dynasty Wars title ever released, which makes it probably the most unplayable due to random lag on the battlefield. It's not the best optimized Musou, that's for sure, but it's still worth to play if you enjoy a lot of Dynasty Wars 4 gameplay, cause that's where the game is based from. Same gameplay, same mechanic of the level weapon system, however, they have removed the aim lock, which was an absolute pain in the original 4, so that's probably the only good thing about the game. You can also have some of our characters as bodyguard, but let's not forget the first title to introduce the area system. What is the area system? The goal of each stage is to conquer the area by invading it and defeating the enemy commander. In some cases, lots of troops. There will be secondary tasks to do that will help you a lot through the level. This sort of gameplay is absolutely fun on the portable title, and surprisingly, it's well appreciated by the rest of the community. Therefore, you might want to get Dynasty Wars on PSP a go. A second volume that's not from a book? This is none other than a sequel of the very first PSP. Musou game, Dusty Waters, even to I prefer the Japanese style, which is Shinsoku Musou second. That surely sounds way better and cooler, so I don't fucking understand the reason to change the name. But oh well, the very first Dusty Wars on PSP was really good, however, it felt like it was lacking few things to make it good. And Volume 2 does a perfect job at fixing all the flaws that its dad had. In fact, it looks completely different, save for the hair system, of course. This time you can obtain horses to equip, farm for different weapons, since the game is based on Dynasty Wars 5, it's backed web hunting, instead of the level up system of 4. But that's not all. The stage system is also changed. Stages usually have two different objectives that need to be met. Clearing them through repeated attempts is necessary to finish the stage's completion rate. This gives a good reason to grind with every character, giving you a good reason to repeat stages so you can 100% them all. One of my favorite things of this game are the village missions, which can be found in reaching the village era icon. Sometimes you'll meet some of those two characters, and that's a good whole classic from its predecessor that never disappoint. I'm aware this game is one of the most people's favorite, and I'm not surprised, so you should really get this a go first, then play its prequel. We could say Sakon is basically an improved version of Dynasty Wars Volume 1, if so we want to call it, but in my opinion, both of those titles, they do deserve a lot. So. You can really play both of them, both first and second. Don't think, oh, just because there is second, that means we have to totally ignore first volume one. Definitely not. That's not the case. They're both really good games, but in the end, it's always up to you which one you prefer. However, volume second, it's still more enjoyable than first, and that is why it gets a 4th place. Well yes, Warriors Rochi 2 is also on the PSP, and in English. This will be the only chance you get to play as Ben K and Sanzan in Warriors Rochi 2 on an English speaking language. 
since these two characters got debuted in the remaster for PS3, Warriors Rochi Z, which features both Warriors Rochi 1 and 2 combined. You can pick Warriors Rochi 1 if you don't like 2 that much, but personally Warriors Rochi 2 is my favorite of all due to the story and tons of the characters to select. This is just like Warriors Rochi 2, but with more content, including new outfits for every character and also the Dynasty Warriors 6 outfit for Dynasty Warriors characters. The gameplay is pretty much the same as Warriors Rochi 2 and that's what really matters. I personally find this good grinding game a very very good grandy and you know Muso games are known to be grandy as hell so if you like grandy as hell games then yeah of course Water Sorochi it's really made for you and especially if you enjoy Water Sorochi 2 on a main console you might want to try this baby version of Orochi either one or two it's up to you Some of the Warriors State of War. This game shares the same era system as the previous game I talked about, but this time it's Some of the Warriors and it has a slight title, which is State of War. Now, this is a very interesting game and it contains really, really cool things, such as a unique story. There are four factions you'll be in when you play with a certain character, which are Takeda. Uesugi, Nobunaga, or the Solo Army. The game is based on the first Samurai Warriors and it also contains the Extreme Legends characters. A cool thing about this game, just like Dynasty Warriors on PSP, is that it features guest characters from Dynasty Wars 4. However, they are not playable, which makes you feel pretty much disappointed once you see them in the game, or you'll just get the nostalgic feel of like, hey look who's here! My man, it's Weian, my man, my caveman Weian. Another great feature from this game are the charms items that you will obtain during the stages. They have different effects, such as paralyzing the enemies or even poisoning them. You can now move up to two eras, so the era system in this game gets a huge upgrade as well. This game kind of feels like a Final Fantasy Tactics, but Uso. Personally, I'm a fan of games where you can control characters on a chessboard, and if you're ours, well, then State of War might be the best game meant for you, since this includes lots of fun elements that Dynasty Wars Volume 1 and Volume 2 does not have. Since Koei HQ was bored, one day they decided to boil a pan. In this pan, they have mixed Monster Hunter and Dynasty Warriors crazy grind system. Monster Hunter's boss fight that are way smarter than us lowly humans. The ability to turn into Super Saiyan and of course the typical Dynasty Warriors gameplay. Even though it's based on 6, and at the time, one of the most hated, and maybe it still is. But then, Mr. Dusty Wars 9 came out, and now it's more appreciated. But whatever, no point talking about this useless shit, cause it's Strike Force time. Oh, this time, they have really done it. They have created the very first Dusty Warriors that is meant to be played with friends and people online. Now, this is probably the icing on the cake, as I personally am a fan of Monster Hunter games and I think playing them on a portable console is just perfection. However, Strike Force features both elements of a hunting and a Musou game. Each playable character got their own awakening form, and not only they are good looking to see, but will also make the player stronger while using them. Another thing that really hit the spot is the ability to add a secondary weapon, which is the very first time that it is introduced in a Dynasty Wars game. Your task is to build your best character and find weapons that are suitable with your style and for the character. Taking quests that will feature hard boss fights but will reward you with good materials to craft obviously good weapons. Yeah, that's the Monster Hunter part. So, playing up to 4 players will be the best choice to go through this game without getting your ass kicked. Because playing the PSP version on your own is almost impossible. 
However, in the PS3 version, not only it adds Mongo as a playable character, but will also let you bring three bodyguards, making the single player quest a little bit easier. Still, the game is designed for a multiplayer experience, so gather yourself some friends and start the hunt. I mean, the Muso hunting, ah, whatever you want to call it. And also, good luck finding friends with a PSP willing to play with you. Not to mention Strike Force got a sequel, but only in Japan. In Japanese, yeah, in Japan. In Japanese, Nihongo Ji, basically, for the Asian territory, which us lowly Westerners did not get. So, that version is way better than the first, since it includes new unique characters such as the first Emperor of China and the King of Shu, Shang Yu. But guess what? You might have to stick with the first game because you might not understand Japanese, and if you do understand, uh, unless you understand Japanese, of course, you're good. So, guys, this is what my first, very first top five video that I ever done. I know it's not too special or big, but I had lots of fun making the script and looking back at those PSP titles. Since I had lots of fun playing with them on my PSP when I was a kid. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment with your thoughts, it will really, really help me a lot. Also, sharing it will also give an extra boost for this video and my channel. Maybe consider becoming a member to access exclusive perks and support more videos like this. Thanks a lot, have a good holidays and happy gaming, fellow warriors. See you later, take care.